guests. Welcome to another episode of uh, Cross Counter Asia. Asia. As we promised, we have some good footage for you today. Uh, we're going to be breaking down the God's Garden match between you, uh, Xian, using Yun against Itabashi Zangief. Uh, and you guys have played before in Australia. Australia yeah, we played lots of casual and stuff. I think I have a lot of experience against Zangief thanks to Z, my cross counter partner. We played a lot and I think I have really experience in this. That's the reason why I think I could put out a match against one of the best Zengi in the world. Yes, I am personally uh, in opinion, well, I think Cantona is up there as well. But mm. Itabashi is very good. Uh, let's see how he deals with this Yun matchup, which is supposedly 5-5. Five -five. Mm, yeah, I guess Yun still have a bit of advantage. <coughs> Not in 2012 version. Yeah. <laughs> None more than that. Yeah. All right, let's go into it. Yeah. Click. All right. As you can see, it's really crowded in the Ghost Garden. Everybody was... It was an amazing vibe, I think. Everyone is having their drinks. They want to enjoy the gameplay. Everyone loves Street Fighter. Um, of yes. course, there's also the competition, but everyone is having fun. Even as a small place, it was yeah. so crowded. Everybody still goes for it. Yeah. 3,500 yen just to watch it. That's how crazy everybody wants to do it. So you guys, of course, um, will be dancing in the middle of the screen. He's going to be doing medium punch. And You're going to be using low medium punch to counter his standing medium punch. Yeah, you know, like, I saw that good text video, mm -hmm. you know, I use crushing middle oh, punch. Oh, that's a good one. At 80, at 79 seconds, or 81 seconds, I'm sorry. I did. I blocked the middle, standing middle punch and punished with the target combo. Standing medium, far standing medium kick is minus 7 on block or something. Minus, no, minus 10 or something. So you can do the target combo after that. Yeah, so it's not really as difficult. And the match is kind of... It actually yeah. tried to go a bit random mm -hmm. by going more grabs, you know, like when I played a lot, he doesn't do a lot of grabs, mm -hmm. but this time he kind of, he read and we want to do a lot more grabs this time. So, um, I guess it's, you know, I kind of back there and some more escape. So I didn't really think that much. Oh, if he used EX, he would have killed you. Yeah, yeah, and he couldn't, I couldn't have punished it as yeah. well. If he used EX green hand, well, this match was, you know, he no. was really a bit more aggressive, you know, compared. Do you think he saw that last, that hop kick and hit you or it was no, a random? I guess he was just like, you're always doing this. Mm, okay. Because that's really good reactions if you could do that. I didn't know what I want to do. I just want to like chip him so mm. that I can do an EX shoulder. Yeah. After that to chip him off dead. But, well, it doesn't work. Just made a punch. Like you see, he's doing a lot of grabs. Mm -hmm. Like. Not like he play me in casual. Maybe he's trying to ooh, switch his style. Ooh, so good that combo. Uh, standing medium kick, middle punch. You know, like kick is yes green hand. That's a new one I've seen you do. After a knockdown, you do the instant overhead and you fly away with the target combo. Mm. Now it doesn't do that much damage, but it's really irritating. So you're you're sort of messing with his head. And he kind of gave up the second round. He wants. He goes goes for the ultra to be from an uppercut or back dash. Yeah, but you but, do not. I know you, yeah, you right. don't move I, I on wake up. Safe, you you know, play I, so safe. Yeah, because he has been doing grabs for the past few times, mm -hmm. you know, and he has ultra, I don't yeah. want to take the risk. Yeah. So I just like try to attack it because Japanese Zangief like doing the normal throw. Yeah. So now Idabashi Zangief, his footsies are on point. When he sees you with the um, far heavy kick, he's gonna hit you with the he, he seventy keeps damage. He keeps dancing there. Yeah. I used to use the heavy kick when mm -hmm. trapped in the corner. Yeah. I used to keep getting hit hit him all, most of the time to poke his jab. But now you see he changed a different play style. Mm -hmm. He keeps waiting for me to press the heavy yeah. kick. Here we go. There you go. Boom. Man. Yeah, and that boom has a really big kick. recovery. Yeah. I want him. a heavy kick, I'll try him. But you know, he does it, you know he doesn't really press. He changes he got more experience this time. Now so, after the EX lunge punch when you go over, I think what he's doing is the lariat with the uh, medium la the light kick lariat. The kick lariat with the throw break inside, so it covers most of the options. It's just the options like lariat. Yeah. yeah, it's really strong. He changed a lot yeah. ever since. So everyone, uh, including myself, we're going to be using that strategy. And I got a life lead over oh, here. Oh, you could one chip. I could have did, but I guess everybody won. It was like Facebook's been me asking me what happened. Oh, I was scary. standing behind you, and I thought that you were in the air from the lunge punch, and that's why you got grabbed by the UC2, but that's not the case. What happened? He didn't grab me off the lunge punch because it was not really airborne, you know, and he did it at a height, pretty high. Mm -hmm. But when the moment I saw my lunge punch miss and he jumps yeah. back, my first reaction was, I don't want to get grabbed. Right. So I backdash 
if you guys can like pause frame by frame to see yeah. the videos, I backdash before the ultra came out. Before the ultra came out, you're yeah. already backdashing. I'm backdashing, and it's on the other side. I always thought I did have great reactions. Yeah. But I didn't know at this moment, you know. The launch pass means I get the other side. The ultra haven't even came out. I really backdash. Like, I got a great reaction at the wrong time. Many people thought, just like me, that he, he bought you some geisha in Kabuki Cho, and because of that, you jumped up on purpose to eat the ultra combo <laughs> too. But that's not no. the case. You had already put it in. And I packed this. So what, was, what were you thinking when you saw his uh, ultra combo animation? Because you know the ultra combo, it eats up some of the inputs. Did the you think card. that I, you I were safe? I didn't thought that he would ultra at that range. Yeah, it was high up. It was quite yeah. high up. He was... I don't know, maybe he has good read that I'm gonna... He, maybe he respects me as a player that after the long punch, <laughs> uh, I will use like uppercut as an yeah. anti-air like to try to chip him. Yeah. But I was very afraid to do the uppercut because mm -hmm. that's the only thing that could have killed me yeah. because he could do ultra at any moment. Yeah. So I was afraid to do that. So my, in my mind, I just doesn't want to do that move because he has ultra too. But I backdash. After looking at it, I think your reaction is kind of ironic. Your reactions are so quick that when you saw him flying over, you're well, like, yeah, oh, I gotta get out of there. A normal person would be like, oh, crap, and then have to deal with it. It would take some time for somebody it some to time. react. I think your reactions killed you. In the yeah, end. reactions kill me. <laughs> you ran like, away too soon. I always, like, you know, have problems sometimes, like, anti air uh -huh. against characters, little jamming. But I didn't know why this time I was so great reactions yeah. at the wrong time. Ah. Oh. That was so. That was your that was pool play, and you lost to Itazan in a very very exciting match. Hmm. I saw actually, I not only lost to Itazan, yeah. I also lost to Togawa. Mm. You know, arguably one of the best reel in Japan now. Yeah, he plays a great reel with footies and stuff mm -hmm. out of Daigo and Daigo really cricket. Mm, I think I played really cheap against him because even I lost. Yeah. When I play, so in a casuals, I want to play him, but there's no chance because there's too many people in arcade. No, I noticed he play against like Bam Bam Bam, Yuin one of the top ultimate master Yuin. Mm -hmm. But I saw a lot of Togawa matches and I remembered his bad habits. So you went to Japan like a spy without even spending any money on the arcade machine. You're looking at, you're looking at Togawa's gameplay, you're taking down mental notes. I'm like a couple days later, him. You, finish, you downloaded him, then you see him at God's Garden, he's in your pool. And you and still lost. I lost by a bit. And, you know, he kind of yomi me, you know, like, run jump forward and, like, dashboard, you know, uppercut, FADC Ultra, and got some wins. But I think I'm more cheap than that. Because I remember the worst bad habit that he has. Uh -huh. I'm gonna dis dis reveal it now. After blocking this, he always uses jet and light punch to hit away dive kick. Mm -hmm. So I all, I will, what I do is I follow, like, what dive girls do. You know, I walk forward and do the middle punch shoulder. And when I notice the most bad habit is when he blocked the middle punch into a shoulder, he does an uppercut interrupt between block strings. And after blocking that, he will do a dugan. Because if I try to jump again or dive kick or what, or like do whatever move, I have to block the adugan or I have to get hit by the adugan. And the only way to avoid the adugan is to jump forward. Right. So I did it twice against him. After doing the middle punch shoulder, I jumped forward and did a combo. He did a dugan. He was shocked. Like, how do you know I'm gonna do Adrugan? But I like, I saw the matches again. He's a bam bam bam. Every every time he brought a medium punch in the shoulder, he would do Adrugan, and bam 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 would like try to jump straight and dive kick, and he always get hit by it. So I kind of memorized his bad habit. The third time, like first time, second time, I get off two free combos. The third time, I thought he wouldn't do Adrugan, but he still did Adrugan. This time I didn't jump over, but I get hit. But I think I'm really playing it really cheap to try to win it because I already lost to Itabashi. I don't want to lose another game against him because mm -hmm. if I, basically if I lost it, it was equivalent to a loss. I couldn't qualify anymore. And well, I deserve the loss after playing so cheaply, but yet I still lost. All right, Mike, let's play a game. Okay, good text. The game is guess what combo I'm doing on this Mad Cat's TE stick. I like this challenge. But you can't look. Okay. You, you have to listen. Okay. All right, are you ready? Yes. Again? Do that one more time. Again? One more time. 
That would be crouching short, standing jab, standing jab, reka, reka, reka by Fei Long. Close. The last one is crouching jab, but that's close enough. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that one. Thank you. I'll give you that Thank one. Thank you. All right, all right. Okay. Are you ready for another one? I'm ready for another one. Okay. One more Again? time. One Again? more time. That would be Crouching Fierce Reflector FADC Dash Forward Soul Throw from Rose. You win. I need something more difficult, Gutex. Please challenge my knowledge of Street Fighter. Okay, all right. That was an easy one. That is definitely Flash Metroid Zangief. God, Mike, you're so good at this game. Uh, this is my favorite game. I can <laughs> tell you, you guys. Know? I can tell them something. You too can play this game at home if you purchase yourself a Madcast TE stick. That's right. Go to this URL right here. Use coupon code CrossCounter. Save 10%. Go.